Hey guys, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed and thanks for joining me in my backyard. Uh, and currently the western sun is beaming down on my face and if I stay out here too long I'm going to get sunburnt and that's not a good look for everyone. But uh, just for a second I'm going to reminisce about 2013. 2013, ah, oh, what a year. What a year for Australian politics. We had three Prime Ministers that year. We had Julia Gillard, who was uh, deposed by Kevin Rudd in her own party and then was voted out by the Australian public um, in the federal election and we had a new Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. So three Prime Ministers in one year. What a democracy, right? But uh, on the serious side of things, 2013 was when I had solar panels installed for my house. And behind me is the inverter, which is now six years old, out of warranty, but still doing a good job. Um, I had an installer this week come out to look at some panels for my house, some new panels, and he had a look at my inverter, which by the way is an Aurora, uh, Power One uh, 3.6 kilowatt single phase inverter. This company no longer exists but has been taken over by ABB but it's still going strong. 3.6 kilowatt like I said um, and I'll show you in a second uh, why it's still going strong. There's one reading which the installer looked at and said okay it's still going good. The only thing he said was um, it's facing the western sun so in summer we've had six summers now with this inverter um, and he was quite surprised it's still going good but he said the only thing you should um, probably uh, have is um, some sort of shade over this inverter just to cover the western sun. So I went to my favorite hardware store starting with a B and I purchased this. So here it is there. Can you see that? That's, uh, that's a canopy that's going to sit over the inverter at the top there and uh, hopefully provide some shade. So I'm going to do that over the next few days as a little bit of a project. And I'll do a video of, uh, of it when it's installed. I'm not going to go through it step by step. It's not one of those videos or not one of those channels, but um, we'll get the result for you when it's all finished. Okay, so these are the readings from my inverter. That's the top of my head there with my spiky hair. But uh, let me just go down to the setting, which he was impressed with. And look at that total number of kilowatt hours produced over the lifetime of this inverter. Uh, 25,000 kilowatt hours over six years. Not bad for a three kilowatt system. Uh, currently it's producing 1.1 kilowatts, don't know what that means, don't know what that means, looks like a temperature there, looks pretty hot. Uh, peak of all time, 4000 watts, so 4 kilowatts, I'm not sure how that's possible with a 3.6 kilowatt inverter, but uh, obviously it's producing uh, that much today, the peak was 2.5 kilowatts, interesting, it is quite hot actually, just touching it. It's got a point there. I probably should have done this many years ago, but uh, I'll show you the one thing that impressed my installer. Uh, look, 50 hertz, cycling with the grid, looks like. Uh, 340 volts. Okay. Yeah, this thing. Okay, so this reading here 20 mega, mega ohms. Anyway, that's the ohm symbol, and I assume this is resistance. And then you point it down here, which was. Uh, this wire here, which I will show you. So he was impressed with this cable here, which was still good, still in good shape. So it looks like my inverter system is still pretty good after six years uh, for something that's out of warranty. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, we'll get a new inverter with the new system, obviously. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I'm uh, slowly turning pink out here because it's quite hot, but. Um, I'll keep you informed about the canopy and uh, also keep you informed about the solar panels that are going to go up on my roof in the next few weeks, hopefully. Alright guys, take care. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for supporting Ludicrous Feed and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!